Hi, this is Boo on the road and authentic world food. I'm in Midigama in Sri Lanka. I'm standing in front of a local market where you can get loads of spices, fruits, vegetables and fish. And today I will show you how to make a fish curry. It's gonna be a little bit sour and super spicy, at least for me as a westerner. You can use for instance tuna chunks or whole small fish. Firstly, they wash the fish properly, usually in the garden. There are birds waiting for the leftovers already. Nothing is wasted here. <coughs> then they blend quite loads of black pepper corns and chili powder and soak dried goraka. Goraka is a fruit giving sour flavor to the dish and is tenderizing the meat. It's called Indian Tamarind too. You can substitute Goraka with Tamarind if you don't have it. They blend chili powder and pepper with some water into a paste. You can use black pepper powder, but of course nothing is better than freshly ground spices. Then they add a paste to the bowl with fish. I combined shots from two cooking sessions. One was with tuna chunks and one with small fish called koroburhu in Sinhala, but the process is completely the same in both cases. This is the soaked goraka, which she is crushing into a paste and adding to the bowl with fish as well. When washing the roller, all washed out ingredient leftovers are used into the dish. No wasting again. They pour the water into the bowl and add more water if necessary. It's a water from a well and they store it in ceramic bottles underneath. Then they add car leaves, coarsely crushed garlic, some salt, mix it and cook about 30 minutes firstly with lid and for about last 10 minutes without. And that's it. It's served with rice and other Sri Lankan curries. For full recipe and buying ingredients check links under the video. For more stuff about authentic cooking, check authenticworldfood.com website and follow me on Facebook and Pinterest.